You may find this hard to believe, but I used to be the piano player for a black gospel chorus. Yes, I am doubly disqualified for that. But that's especially why I love reciting the title of a book that sounds like it's a gospel song. Back from Hell and the Devil Didn't Win. Gary Rockman, welcome. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, my Jewish brother. How are you? <laughs> Wonderful. Great. My Muslim brother. How are you? I'm excellent. What's your mission? Today, Joe, 40% of Americans don't own a home. And most of them don't believe they can afford one. Is right? it still important to own a home? It is. It is. It's, it's, the, it's still the cornerstone of America. You know, emancipation ended over 150 years ago. But that yet there are still people who are slaves to poverty. And that, that slavery runs deep. It crosses barriers. It crosses racial and gender lines. So it affects us all. All right. There are some people who say that home ownership ain't what it used to be. That uh, that's not necessarily the best place to park your money. Traditionally, owning a home was your way out of poverty, into the middle class, or higher. Where do you stand on all this? I totally disagree with that. First of all, owning your own home is a part of building community, mm -hmm. which is a part of building that wealth, health, and education that we are much desired in many, many parts of, this, of, the, of the country. And that's part of what you do, isn't it? You don't only you know, get individual families into individual dwellings. You're about building communities, right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. We need to be neighbors. Mm -hmm. Now, what got you into this? Well, I've got a history uh, and a passion because I live this. I lived this as a child. So, you know, uh, I lived, to, I was born into that poverty of slavery. Uh, being born to a mother that was, uh, that was on welfare for many years. And by the time I was 10 years old, we had been evicted over 12 times. So this is something I lived. I had to emancipate myself. I wanted to build my community and emancipate others. Were you angry growing up? I can't say I was angry. I had some great father figures in my life, mm -hmm. but I was very passionate, mm -hmm. very passionate for change. Mm -hmm. And according to you, I gather the way we do real estate transactions needs to change. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, many people invest or I should say other developers invest in brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. And banks, as you know, were traditionally or, you know, are predatory lenders, sucking mm -hmm. it to the people who need the financing the most. And so, you know, that's what got us in the crash in 2008. Mm -hmm. You know, they knew that they were putting people in mortgages that they couldn't afford. Mm -hmm. You got a different model. What is it? Absolutely. I invest in people people first. And I put them in homes that they can afford, they can sustain, and we help them to build wealth that they can transfer to their children. It sounds to me like this is almost a patriotic mission for you. It is. We have veterans today that can't afford traditional financing. And that bothers me because I was a veteran. Um, you know, we have people who are being you know, judged today because they're Muslim or because they're because of their race. Like this is the new Jim Crow. Mm -hmm. What actually makes America great is when we invest in each other. Mm -hmm. Now, you are a Muslim. I am an Orthodox Muslim. It. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You are obviously a black man. Obviously. That's and what you are me. a veteran of the United <laughs> States Army. Yes. Sir. OK, you don't bleed red. You bleed red, white and blue. Red, white and blue. OK. Are you a millionaire? I am. Multi-millionaire? In my early 30s. It seems to me you are a one man walking defiance of stereotypes. Well, you know what? I don't put myself out there as one, but I, because I actually think that the narrative is wrong anyway. All right. Talk to us about what it's going to be like to do business with you. If I aspire to own a home, there's the route of going, you know, through traditional banks. And then there's the route of going through Gary Rockman. How does it work? Yes. One, we help them with their credit. Repairing credit is one of the major things to get anybody on the road to home ownership and to really it eliminates a lot of things. We pay higher premiums on our car insurance because of that. We life insurance is a lot difficult to get, you know, when you have bad credit. So we help them with that. In addition to that, when it comes to home ownership, really figuring out what is that price that I can really truly afford. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, we actually match them up with a home of their dream. So I'll, you can call me the dream maker. Or a matchmaker. Or a matchmaker. Mm -hmm. And what are the criteria that you use, especially if they might be a little bit different from traditional criteria? Yes. Well, one of the main pieces is, of course, you do have to have income. Mm -hmm. So we, what we do is, you know, anyone with an income, 
that's more than likely renting a day. They're renting something. They're paying some type of uh, of payment to someone else, building mm -hmm. someone else's legacy versus mm -hmm. their own. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do is match them with something like that that they can afford to pay. But it actually, it, in the end of the day, it's building wealth for them instead. And we're not necessarily talking about some blighted neighborhood, you know, where correct. everything's dilapidated, fallen down, and about to be condemned by the county. Correct, correct. And in actuality, in many cases, I even work with different organizations to build those communities so that I can buy those houses and place people in them that, you know, can own those homes later. You mean where other people see blight, you see possibility? I see diamonds in the rough. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one thing you want everybody watching this to know? I want people to know if they are looking for a home and they've been turned down by tr traditional lenders that I'm their man to go to NorthAmericanHouseBuyers.com, fill out the application and let's get them on the way to home ownership. NorthAmericanHouseBuyers.com. I wish we had more guys like you in North America. Hey, thank you, John. All right. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.